All right, all right. Well, I've got another project here. This is another short one, more of a restoration project, but it's on a uh, uh, one of the little uh, lawn tractor um, trailers. This one, it's it's in pretty good shape, but it, it was the the pretty rusted in spots and the paint's peeling and all that good stuff and it need new tires. Um, but I do want to use this one. I'm not going to go for a full blown, I don't want it to look new. I just want to stop the rust. You know what I mean? But let me show you what I'm doing to it. All right. So it looks kind of big because the tires are so small, but those are just small tires. That's what I took off of it. You can see the difference. This was a four by eight. Uh, I forget what these are, three and a half by six or something like that. Just all I had at the moment with the same uh, axle diameter. But you can see the difference. I mean, it still works, still rolls, just less ground clearance and over some rocky terrain, it'll be a little harder to pull. But that's all I had at the moment. So that's what I'm going with. You can see some of the rust here coming through. Same all the way around. In here, I've already started to scrape it off. You see how the, the paint was just peeling. And this was kind of bent inward, but I just bent it out, no problem. There's the, the rear of it. So you can see I'm, I'm just scraping it clean. This side, I think it was sitting on its side or something. And so this side's the worst. But I am just scraping all the old paint where the rust has eaten through it. And once I finish that, let me show you what I'm using. And I've had pretty good luck with this. So first off, I'm going to use this uh, crud cutter, rust remover, and in inhibitor gel. And the reason I want, you know, I've used crud cutter before, um, and it was more of a porous uh, liquid state. But the reason I'm using the gel here is because I'm going on a vertical, uh, vertical wall here, and this uh, gel stuff will stick to it, you know, instead of just running off. And it works pretty good after after I treat all that and you can see how it has stopped the rust and all that good stuff and then I go over it with this rust-oleum uh, rust reformer and sometimes I just leave it as is or I'll use that as the primer and then go over it with black or whatever color and I've had pretty good luck with it I'll show you another trailer that I did this one was probably about two years ago. Got a bunch of junk in there. And you can see around the top, this thing has been sitting here for two years. And I just have to repair the, the front of the hitch there. But all this, I mean, it was a total rust bucket. Uh, I did a video on it years, years ago. I guess I can include a link to it, you know, somewhere up in here. But, uh, but you can see the good job it did, I mean, I used all that crud cutter stuff and then went over it with the rust-oleum and on this one I think on the underneath I put uh, uh, the truck bed liner on it and all this was all the rust-oleum rust reformer I mean it did a really good job I'm really really surprised um, you'll have to take a look at uh, at the other video and see the shape that it was in it's a cool trailer though I just need to uh, fix the tongue here. It's all bent up, so I'm going to cut this off and weld a new one on there. But as you've seen from my past videos, I want to get a new welder before I start tackling any more projects. I want to get better at it. But back to this. So I'm going to do this, and like I said, I mean, I'm going to put this one to work. It's not like I'm going to uh, show it anywhere or you know, I, you know, I just want to stop the rust on it and get the wheels rolling. And I will be using this one. And this one is a dump. You see the, the lever you pull back and then the bed will tilt back. So it's a pretty nice little trailer. I have one over there somewhere that 
that is not the dump trailer but it has uh, three quarter inch um, axles on it so the other one it's not a dump but it has a higher capacity you know what I mean but this one has the regular 5 8 axle on it and it's a dump so I don't know what it's rated for I just know this one's a little less capacity than the other one well let's see let me finish scraping here and we'll uh, spray the sucker down You can see how it's it's sticking to the side. It's not just running off like other liquids. All right, so I got all the all the pieces coated and you just got to let it sit there I forget how long it's supposed to be there I'm kind of trying to read it right now um, let's see dissolve light rust will be dissolved in and it's all scraped up I can't tell is it 10 nope I can't tell 10 to 50 minutes or less once the rest is dissolved, rinse with water and wipe the surface. See, I never do a second one. I just uh, let this do its job. And then, then I wash it off. And then I paint over it with the Rust-Oleum stuff. And it seems to work pretty good. And this also, luckily I've already washed my hands. You saw me, I just dipped right in. But it says contains faucet. This is the uh, rust remover, uh, the crud cutter. Oh, that's made by Rust Oleum too. Didn't know that. Contains phosphoric acid, causes eye burns and skin irritations. Avoid breathing vapors, blah, blah, blah. In case of eye or skin contact, flush immediately with plenty of water for at least 15 minutes. I guess the worst thing is getting in the eye. But, uh, yeah, I should have wore gloves, but, you know, I've already washed my hands, and I'm still, my hands aren't falling off. My skin looks fine. So, yeah, so I'm going to let this sit here for probably a couple of hours. Then I'll wash it off, let it dry, and I'll repaint it. All right, it's only been about an hour or less, and uh, you can see how the rust is changing color there getting a little darker darker black and has the white foamy stuff here pretty soon I'm gonna rinse it off let it dry and we'll take a look at it and uh, and spray paint it So there's the rear gate, finished it off, and I put the rust reformer, a light coat on it all the way around. It dries really, really quick. So it converts the rust and acts as a primer also, and then I just follow it up with uh, the satin regular 
Rust-Oleum Satin Black. And, but you can see, you know, I didn't try to sand anything down and blend in, you know, whatever. I mean, you can see it's uh, where the original paint was and where I painted over and all that good stuff. It's, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm going to put this one to use. So, I think that is it. Some of it's still wet. I just put a, a second coating on some of the critical parts there. <laughs> like, you know, right in here where there was a lot of rust. Um, here on the side. And here on this side. You can really see it on the bottom of the, of the bed there. Um, and down in here, I could probably put another coat. But that's all I'm going to do. I mean, that's... It's not really, I mean, it looks better, but my, uh, my whole point was just to stop it from rusting. And, uh, but it, it does look a little better. So, that's a bit, uh, that's about it. I guess time will tell. We'll see, uh, how it looks, you know, how long this, this, this will last. I found that just, uh, um, just painting it without, any uh, rust treatment on it um, you'll be painting it again really soon but hopefully this one will last as long as this one did uh, like I said that one's that was from two years ago and it's still holding up really really well so uh, so that's it I'll probably end up getting the bigger tires I mean um, it rolls along with those little bitty ones, but uh, you give up a, a lot of ground clearance, so to speak. But that is it for this video. I just did a quick touch up on a trailer. Uh, the main thing is putting uh, a good rust treatment before the final coat of paint, and it'll last a, a long time. But that's it. I've got a bunch of other little, little projects like this. Um, some restoration some just you know rust pre preventative stuff like that but uh but give it a shot if you if you got an old trailer that's really rusted out you know just a lot of surface rust give it a try uh and see how long that'll last you but uh but that's about it it's uh as usual thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video